I, I love cheesecake. I'm sure you do. I, I no, honestly, <laughs> <laughs> we all do. We all do. <laughs> Muammar Gaddafi, tell me about that. You were one of the chosen few that have modeled for the Gaddafi in his compound. And I'm glad you were pissed off, pissed off you did that on my behalf. And I know a lot of people did that on my behalf. So that means I don't have to do it. And I mm. mean, I grew up in Pimville in the townships, mm. you know, so it um, automatically when you're dark skinned, you are considered ugly. So I used to be called Mansu. If somebody is insulting me and you claim to love me or you claim to be in my corner, mm. be bold enough. Have what we call chries. Uh -huh. We spoke about the, the spring box earlier, right? Uh -huh. is spirit. It's it's chutzpah. Uh -huh. Somebody I'm not going to mention who offered for me to do skin lightening, and I blocked that person out of my life because I felt insulted. I'm oh like, gosh. what makes you think I want to lighten my skin? It's the last thing I'm going to do. Nabachana, who are as dark as me. Imagine if I lighten my skin. What's going to happen to my nieces and nephews, others were simply brought here to destroy. That's my belief. It's my story okay. and I'm sticking to it. This is Paga Mamanjin. Hi. Hello. We have today mom, author, businesswoman who describes herself as a serial entrepreneur, Sonia Booth. Are you well? I'm good. How are you? I'm very fine. I'm so glad you're here, man. Ah, uh, thank you. Now I'm, I'm blushing. I'm so, uh, no, I'm so happy you're here. Like, I knew, like, the minute I decided to do this, I think you were number one, you were number two. Uh, uh, stop it. And I remember, no, on a serious note, I was with, um, we were on a team getaway. I don't know if Petrina remembers. And I was talking to you and texting you. And I said, uh, I'm going to have her on the show when we do. And now we're here. Welcome. We're here. Thank you. You like the set? It is beautiful. You need to come and decorate my bedroom. I will do that. Uh, the guys here are great. We work together. Yeah, it's. I want it like a home feel, you know. And we've got these babies over here. Let's go through them. This is a new uh, venture. Let's get to it. Ambro well, how, do you, how do I say this? Ambrosial. Is yes. that it? Yes. Ambrosial and decadent liqueur, curated by Sonia. Lovely. And this is the Springbok edition. Yes, rugby, rugby World Cup edition. Rugby, well, rugby World Cup edition. Uh, what what goes into making this? So it's green. What flavor is this? So you have marula flavors in every bottle because that's okay. the, first and foremost the name of the brand. It, so okay. The liqueurs will always have an infusion of marula from the marula fruit and then cheesecake flavor. Okay. A touch, a touch of it. A touch. Yeah. And they all have got the cheesecake flavor. Yes, just a touch. We love cheesecake. Just the, just a hint. Just a hint of I cheesecake. Know, I know you love cheesecake. I, I love cheesecake. I'm sure you do. I, I No, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> we all do. We all do. <laughs> I love cheesecake. Look, uh, I was, I was, I was thinking: Is there a magazine cover that you have not been on in South Africa, and yet everybody knows you for for cheesecake? You know, I'm thinking: I mean, this is Sonia, Sonia Booth. Like, is there you like an old G in modeling? I'm surprised you're not running like a modeling school or something like that. You're like the Tara Banks of South Africa, as far as I'm concerned. Ah, uh, you, uh, you, you, I'm loving these compliments. Keep them, no, keep them coming. No, but keep seriously, you've been, I've, I've checked every, all of them, except maybe the Afrikaans ones, understandably so. Uh, language issues there. But you were, you were, you represented South Africa at the, at the face of Africa 1999. Yes. And you were second runner up at Miss SA. Yes. In 2001. What happened to face of Africa? Do you know? It used to be called Mnet face of Africa. Yes. I mean, I think, I think they just discontinued it for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. I think it only ran for three years. And that was it. Maybe sponsorship uh, disagreements. I'm not sure. I remember it used to be called Mnet yes. face of Africa. Yes. And I remember it because it was an important moment in, in, in black beauty. It was. Right? Yes. In terms of African beauty and black beauty, it saw us. Black representation. Black representation. Which is very important. Pigmentation. Absolutely. You know, uh, you and Lerato Moloi. I remember, yes. like, you know, I think Lerato Moloi was the, was the first one or not? No. So uh, Lerato, just like myself, we were the five chosen to represent Southern South Africa. Africa. Ah, Oluchi, okay. Oluchi one. And then there was Oluchi. Ah, oh, man. 
What a time. Yeah, an what exciting a, time. It was very exciting, you know. Uh, gosh, I wish we could go back there when we're just discovering our greatness as yeah. a nation. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I, it was quite a time and we were all coming up. I'll never forget that. And then you've been on like the world stages. New York Fashion Week. Yes. You did the 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 Japan Fashion Was it the Fashion Week as well? Yes, it was. It was Fashion a, Week, yeah. We, a, a, a yeah. Fashion Week as well. And then, and this is very interesting, <laughs> Muammar Gaddafi. Tell me about that. You were one of the chosen few that have modeled for the Gaddafi in his compound. So I don't know who selected 55 models uh -huh. around the world. Um, and I mean, it was an honor because yeah. I mean, this is a president of a country who Powerhouse. has selected 55 women from around the world, across the world. And... I mean, incredible um, women who were, you know, representing their countries on the world stages, you know, your, your biggest fashion weeks ever, your Milan Fashion Week, yeah. New York Fashion Week. And there were four South Africans and I was amongst them. And the fashion show was happening just outside his compound. But we arrived from the airport straight to his Compound surrounded. No, don't by... be modest. You, you have picked it. <laughs> no, you cannot do this. You have picked up in your own individual armored vehicle, like an SUV, uh, in your own. So there's like 54 of them in a convoy. How dram he was a very dramatic and very flamboyant. Yes. Yeah. A absolutely. I mean, I I, I consider it ostentatious. I yeah, mean, I'm, very I'm ostentatious. A very, yeah. I'm a very down to earth person. So that but it, it was the first time seeing anything like that. I mean, it, it was overkill um no were they all black in, no pun intended um yeah uh, they, all black, all uh, black yeah, it has to be all black women absolutely gorgeous women and 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 the vehicles themselves were they all black 55 black suvs from the airport to his compound i mean four south africans we could have ridden in one, one. suv and then they were like no, no. He just wanted the drama of yeah, yeah. of having fifty five models from around the world in each SUV, and you can imagine the security that escorted us. You would have thought it was like we're well, not afraid. A, <laughs> but it was something. before. But it was before the whole him being a villain. You know, I, way I think before. That, yeah, it, it, he was the great Muammar Gaddafi. Absolutely, you know? he was respected. the great African leader, respected. Yes. Brother leader, I think he was yes. called. Yes, I think absolutely. that's what he was referred to. Yes. Brother leader, had had the vision of a united African. Yes, of a united Africa. He wanted like the United States of Africa. Yes, he did. Uh, Pan Africanist, so as is one passionate about uniting the the Arabian side yes. of Africa and 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 our side of Sub-Saharan Africa, basically. Yes. <sighs> It's a pity what happened to him, but tell me about the drama. So you get there, you disembark, and you're like, Sonia, uh, here's your car. So just outside the airport, because remember, we didn't go through normal passport control. I mean, we, we go of through. Of course, yes. We, we land there, we go through VIP. Uh -huh. um, they're not even really checking our passports. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, my passport was stamped. All our passports were stamped. Yeah, but, but VIP. Like, you are here. We know who you are. Exactly. Yeah, so, you're going to the compound. I mean, you're yes. not. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure so, they did a security check on everyone. Of these. No, I'm sure. I'm sure they did. They yeah. did, They did. They would have done it prior, prior to yeah. you being selected. Exactly. First of all. Yeah. yeah. So they're comfortable with you at this exactly, point. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So we get picked up, and then obviously we all shocked that we all get separated into these massive, very expensive SUVs, all of them black, and then. Of course, we get to the compound and we notice that all of his bodyguards are female. Absolutely beautiful mm. women. Very tall. I mean, mm. they were as tall as most of the models and yeah. supermodels there. Yeah. And interestingly enough, um, they all have black hair and Isn't they've got it? ponytails. I don't know if it was a, a, a requirement to have a I bun, imagine. like a, a bun, like the a same bun. way I'm wearing my hair now. Yeah, up or down up. bun? It had to be, it had it had to be, to be up, up. Okay. neat. I mean, picture a ballerina. You know? Yeah, ballerina I was about has to say, to like a ballerina, neat. yeah, like a ballerina exactly. bun, yeah. Made up, beautiful. Makeup. Made up, absolutely gorgeous. I remember and, them. And armed, properly armed. I mean, you had guns. Uh, yeah, they you really had guns. mess you up. You had guns on 
you know, either side of their thighs. And you could tell that underneath their coats or jackets, There's... they they had at least about four guns each, you know, two on each leg, mm. either leg and then on their body as well. And seriously and fit. looking fit, very fit. I mean, they were beautiful. You knew not to mess up with them. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. But female. Oh, oh. Only Femme female. Fatales. Only female bodyguards. I wonder, I think I read somewhere why that was, but I don't quite remember why that was. I'm sure there is something that says whether, and it's, and it's huge. and Massive. I mean, the compound is, it, it is massive. I mean, it's, it's, it's a village. What was the occasion? So he was hosting other leaders of various countries and oh. they had been there for at least four or five days. Mm -hmm. And then on the last day, there was to be a fashion show. That's oh. where we came in. A global showcase. Exactly. Of beauty. And uh, we were showcasing um, different um, Lib uh, Lebanese um not not Libyan, yeah, Libyan, 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 Libyan fashion designers. Ah. Yeah. So I think it was his way of showing, you know, the, the Libyan the culture yeah. and, you know, the different international designers who are living elsewhere, uh, but Libyan born. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like the, the world to Libya and then everybody, because it was women from around the world. Exactly. The world's most beautiful women, essentially, I'm sure. Look, he clearly liked beautiful women. He, I mean, he loved, he, exactly. he loved beautiful women. He I did. am fascinated by that. Man, <laughs> that is, sure, you've lived. And then you wrote books. Yes. Tell me about your books. Uh, you wrote a couple of, you, you know, it's quite a few. It's not like two, it's like four books. I've got five titles, oh. two unpublished, but manuscripts are okay. done. Okay, yeah. And then three published. Okay. Yeah. And what do you write about? So the first one was on personal branding, mm -hmm. how to reinvent yourself and stay yeah. relevant. Very relevant, considering that you do have a BCom in marketing and business management. Thank and you. And if I mention that, yeah. Thank you. Credible source, yeah. And then the second one was a memoir, uh, mm -hmm. obviously uh, based on personal experience, surviving mm. ICU. Mm. And then the third, uh, Two Years of Bliss, 18 Years of Better. Um, that's my last book. Mm. And I thought I was going to publish the other two, but I'm not ready. What is the last one about? The other two unpublished. No, no, no. The, the two years two of years, bliss. Two yeah. years of bliss. Um, so I share stories of at least 11 women who have okay. suffered all sorts of abuse. Um, okay. But I've used uh, pseudonyms, obviously, to protect, to protect their identity. Yeah. Because um, some of them are still going through uh, court cases. I mean, you have um, all sorts of abuse covered, financial, mm. physical, emotional, psychological. Um, and then cyberbullying is included there as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then also remember, what, what do you call the term where somebody leaks your nudes online? There's a term for it. I know. Yeah. So yeah. That, that that as well, because there's a woman who's who's... Boyfriend. Revenge. Revenge porn. Revenge porn. Revenge that's, porn. Yeah. yeah that's, that's what it, it is. It, yeah. I think it's called revenge porn. It even is. though it, in, yeah, it's called revenge porn, even though you, there might not be any sexual acts, but even the act of releasing nudes yeah. is called, it falls within that category. It of, is abuse. Yeah. People don't abuse. know. And yeah. cyberbullying is abuse. Yeah. A lot yeah. of people don't realize that. And so bullying. if you've cyberbullied somebody, when you're did an you abuser. Um, 2021. Okay. So it's, it's quite recent. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite fascinating. We've been trying for me to get these books. I've been I, and I, I gave to, up on you. <laughs> and you gave up on me. Um, I'm embarrassed. I, I was traveling, you know. I was traveling, and then, but I need especially the last one because I'm 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 for my academic research. I'm focusing on 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 online abuse against women okay. journalists in particular. I can uh, imagine. Yeah, journalists sure. in particular, they're going through a lot of that. I, I really have to get these books. Um, all right. And this was in 2022? 2021. 2021. Dece December, yeah. Okay. And how are the boys doing? They are doing great. Yeah, big now, hey? They are big. Noah just turned 15. My baby, he's still my baby. He's going to be mm. my baby even when he's 60. Mm -hmm. Nathan is 18. He's... Two weeks into his lectures in the U.S., he's very okay. happy. Is he happy there? Thriving because where in the U.S. Is he? Um, uh, D.C. D.C. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, the term just started there. Ne? 
he's been there two months yeah. because he they, they started training um, yeah. because it's a, it's a partial football scholarship. Okay. So two months of training, they started with their tournaments. They're doing very well as a team, and mm. he's become a regular in the team. Okay. So that's that's exceptional because for a freshman, because they considered freshman, yeah, 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 it's 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 extraordinary to right. to make a team first okay. team that is. Oh wow, that's. Yeah. Well done to him. He Thank takes you. off his dead after all. He does. Yeah. He does. Uh, so it is, uh, and and then after two months of training, then the classes, the academic stuff. Lectures, then, lectures the started academic two lectures weeks ago. Start. Yeah. I'm very happy he's there. I am thrilled because it's it was his lifelong dream. And is I'm, it? I'm a happy mother because yeah, I have a happy I'm, child. Yeah. Is yeah. He, I'm so happy he's there. And then, and then Noah is obviously uh, still has to go through school. Yes. Okay, fantastic. Your husband still? I'm still married. You still need that, yeah. Yeah. So you must have been pissed off when it was their birthday and somebody didn't leave them the cheesecake. Let's just get into it. Like <laughs> it's buried and I've put a tombstone on it. Why do you think that we are shamed for other people's wrongdoings? I'm going to give a lived example that I'm sure many household households in South Africa and the rest mm -hmm. of the world have lived mm -hmm. and experienced. Mm -hmm. And that perfect example, um, our previous generation and generations uh, before those, yeah. I grew up observing such, and I'm sure you can relate. If it did not happen in your immediate family, I'm I sure your neighbor Mm -hmm. I consider myself uh, woke. We and I were chatting earlier yeah. about uh, the eight years. We're speaking about the languages that you you can speak. It's Zulu, it's Kosa, Setswana, Sesotho. Sibedi. Sibedi. It's the six. What are we forgetting? A touch, touch, touch of Russian. I can hold my own. It's Kosa, Nesizulu. It's Kosa, Nesizulu. Yeah. 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 I I think I can speak. I, I know Russian. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I think pretty much just like you. I, I think it's growing up in Gauteng. Absolutely. Yeah, I I struggle with my with my zonga or shitonga. I don't don't kill me. Say, no, same here. I Is struggle. It, I struggle. I, 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 I struggle. Yeah, but I'm thinking I might have said it wrong. Like maybe it's, it's not zonga. Maybe shitonga. She shitonga. Shitonga. Yeah. She shitonga. 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 Yeah. And chivenda. 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 I I shitonga. I I can hear it. Yeah. You know, when people converse, they can actually hear exactly what's going on. Hey, but Chivenda, hi, boo. It's, it's, it's not an easy language. It's not an easy no, language, then? No, it's not. It is. Isn't I, devil is very easy, obviously, because, I mean, it's a it's a, it's a, it's a mashup. Yeah. You can pick up, yeah, it's Nguni. It yeah, it's Nguni, Nguni. Yeah. yeah. So it's Isn't devil for me, obviously, in this, in this, in this right, but I struggle and I've always, been, and I will learn it. So you, you can speak Russian. Chut, chut. A little bit. Like chit chit. So yeah. that means I can I can I can hear. Obviously if mm -hmm. there's a conversation going on and I yeah. pick up words, I can sort of follow the conversation because of those words that are being used. Yeah. So if you're gossiping about me, you chances will, are you will. I will know that you are. That's good. And I'll call you to order. It is a good it is a good skill to have, understanding Russia. Russian. Yeah. Did you did you go to the Russian World Cup recently? No, I did not. My family I, did. I, I had no interest. Did really. No. Is it? Are no, you? Because no you were there doing the soccer thing. You guys played soccer there, and I say you guys because you, all of you, the whole family was there playing soccer, essentially supporting Matthew. Absolutely. Your, yeah. your husband still. I'm still married. You still married? Yeah. 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 Your husband uh, uh, there. Eight years. That's a long time in the cold Russian winters. Six, 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 six years in six Russia. Six years in Russia. Yeah. But I'm sure it was beautiful. You know what I've always wanted? A Russian Christmas. Oh, um, oh. it's it's very cold. Remember, remember Russia is one extreme to another. You have your plus 33 in summer, in, which is very hot and humid. And then you have minus 33. It's a whole nutcracker I fantasy don't, thing. I don't think me. I'll survive minus 33. Is it? in? But I think we've experienced it here with the cold front. I'm sure one of the days we have I, minus I, 33. I promise you, 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 you exist. <laughs> Um, I, yesterday I, I, was the I worst. Felt it. No, no, no. Ye yes, yesterday felt like and it's, minus thirty three. I think it's because we thought spring was here. Exactly, and, and then, we, we had packed away our polo necks and our double plies mm, and triple plies I mean, and I had already blankets. Stuff for yeah, me. same here. Mm, I had already packed it. Yeah. So you you did that for six years. How was how was 
How many countries uh, did Matthew play in that you guys had had to live in and move with him? Uh, just Russia. Just Russia. Oh, oh and then I think three months. Uh, at some point, he had a contract in Wimbledon in the UK. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that was a short short stint, the longest okay. in Russia. And then uh, and then back here in South Africa. Yeah, just in time for the Confed and then the World Cup. And then the World Cup in yeah, 2010. 2010. Yeah. And then the World Cup in 2010. What a special time. It was. It was. Do you think we passed our our prime as a as a as a nation, as a people? Do you think we'll ever get there again? We will. You, you're talking. You're talking spirit. You're yeah, talking spirit. yeah. I'm just talking like you know. You know, because you know, we spoke earlier about the the African resurrection. You know, the African dream. Tabo uh, uh, um What was that thing that he did in Parliament? I, I'm, I'm an, an African. African. Yeah. I'm an African. African Renaissance. African yeah. Renaissance. Yes. That's it. Yes. We we had that moment. We had the World Cup, and it, and it just seems to me like things have just been going. I'm talking about generally, generally, generally as South Africans. Do you do you get the sense of it? it, it we've been. It's done. Oh, uh, we we are dis- despondent. Is that English? That that mm, is English. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah we are. Yeah. We are. Um, but I think COVID didn't help. Mm-hmm. It didn't help. When you look at the stats, I mean, unemployment, and then you hoi in load shedding, it's 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 a lot. It's depressing. So it's gonna take it's gonna take some divine intervention to turn things around. But to answer your question, I think we could very well get back to that spirit that mm. we experienced in 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 twenty ten. Definitely. What, you think, but what? I but it know. will take, like I said, divine intervention. Oh yeah. Yeah. It has to be because yeah, here come depressed after time. Listen, it's I think I think I think a lot of people have got a lot on their plates. Mm. Uh, if there's anybody out there who's not having any problems, wow, wow, I, I I need that prayer as well, so we can copy and paste. Do you know what I mean? Do you know that sound that the house it seems like it's the house could be the electronics makes when the lights go off because of load shedding. It's a very abusive sound. You know, if it just goes. Oh yeah, yes, yes, yes. You know that? Yes, this like the surge. This yeah, when when it it's, just goes, it, it is depressing. <laughs> it's because you know, you know, it's psychologically damaging, and I don't think the people responsible or in charge understand how traumatic it is to grow up with electricity, and even if you didn't grow up with electricity, but to be accustomed to something that is such a necessity. Yeah. And then have it taken away. It, and you've got, and, and, and it's not because you can't afford it. Yeah. It's not because of anything, but it's just because it's, it's now gone. Yeah. And it's, and it's an, it's a necessary, you know, like the hierarchy of needs, right? And it, it, how do we live? You know, I don't, I don't know how, yeah. But anyways, and then there's the price of food, and and the kids we have we 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 have to. Eat. All they do is eat, right? And all they do is eat. School holidays are coming up. Yeah. I know the grocery I've, bill is gonna go up the I've, roof. I've got a I've got an eighteen year old. I'm happy when he's at school. Same here. <laughs> well, he's in the US now. It's is a lot he, more expensive to feed him. To, yeah, eh? but, yeah, but yeah. I'm happy when he's at school because when he's back, uh, yeah, I feel it. Is it and you and yours, uh, Noah? So I've got a I've got the fifteen year old, uh-huh. and then I've got Um Chanawam, okay, uh, my nephew Sbu, also living with us for the year. Okay, so I've got two boys that I'm looking after, That's and true. they yeah I'm 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 working very hard because of them just to feed them. We just haven't to, yeah. we haven't even spoken about medical aid. No, yeah, right? yeah. just the feeding or yeah. no clothing, just to keep them alive and exactly. and, and and fed sustenance. That's, sustenance. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna jump right into it. So you must have been pissed off when it was their birthday and somebody didn't leave them the cheesecake. Let's just get into it. Like. <laughs> I know you're pissed off. You and, told your sister I and, was pissed off for you. You, you, and I'm and and I'm glad you were pissed off pissed off on on my behalf because then I don't I don't have to do the the the, the pissed pissed off uh, 
you know, yeah, I like, part, part yeah. anymore. You, you did that on my behalf and I know a lot of people did that on my behalf. So that means I don't have to do it. And I'm not even about to go there because it's buried and I've put a tombstone on it. Have you done that? And I've unveiled the tombstone. Absolutely. Okay. Are yeah. you, are you? So I'm, I'm, I'm not going there. Okay. No. You're not, you don't want to do it? Not interested. But I'll tell you what, I think for a lot of us, it is almost like a, let's speak generally now. We're not yeah. speaking about your situation in particular. And I don't want you to do that. If you say you're done with mm. it, you're done with it. Yeah. And, and I want you to be done with it. You know, I want you to be done with it. However, you did unleash a wave of, hey, you know, I didn't know you could handle it like this. Because when something like that happens to you as a woman, for some reason, you are ashamed as if it's your fault. You know, you're the one who actually works very hard to conceal this thing. Why do you think that is? Why do you think that we are shamed for other people's wrongdoings? Especially our husbands. Let's be, we, we're talking in general, right? We're talking in general. Uh, from your experience, if you want to touch into that, or just as, as women, how we are wronged and that gets turned into our shame. I'm, I'm going to give a lived example that I'm sure many household households in South Africa and the rest mm -hmm. of the world have lived mm -hmm. and experienced. Mm -hmm. And that perfect example, um, our previous generation and generations uh, before those, yeah. mm. we have an abusive uncle yeah. who continues to abuse Um Chanawak. Mm -hmm. emotionally, mm -hmm. sexually, and the family does not want to have that discussion mm -hmm. because Abandu Bazutini, what are the neighbors going to say? Mm -hmm. And worst case scenario, Umchana falls pregnant mm -hmm. and then Umchana gets sent to the homelands, mm -hmm. Elusutu yeah. or Kwadwa. And the next thing, Umchana comes back a few years later has a child and then, but that child is supposedly not hers, but belongs to the aunt. Mm. But we know that somebody else left pregnant, but then now all of a sudden, Let, there's a, uh, yeah, an yeah. aunt, an aunt has a child because mm. nobody should know that there is a pregnancy because now people are going to ask questions as to mm. who impregnated the 12 year old. Mm. Right. And then the stories about them going away. No, they had to go to a different school. Mm. And then suddenly they come back and then it's like, so we, I grew up observing such, and I'm sure you can relate if it did not happen in your immediate family, I'm sure your neighbor mm -hmm. or along your street, you, you've heard of a story. Every mm -hmm. single person in this room right now has either experienced such or have, has heard. Witnessed it at witnessed close range. It, yeah. And then witnessing it you do get people who also turn it's a blind cool. eye people would disappear exactly exactly so so we 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 are a product of a generation that is very good which in itself is is shameful mm. and i think a generation after that um i mean i was talking about my grand's generation okay. and then mom's generation yeah. with my generation i do not see a lot of that happening because not only are we woke, I mean, mm -hmm. I thought the generation after me, I thought my sons were woke. Yeah, yeah. But I consider myself uh, woke. Uh, I personally would not stand for an injustice. If you come at me sideways, I'm not just going to sit back and let you bully me, mm. especially when you don't know me. Because mm. most of the people that I interact with online, angbazi. Yeah. And they don't come at me thinking or with a bold statement that you know me because Aungaz modeling helped me to develop a thick skin. I'm sitting with you right now, I'm wearing Mansu. Yeah. So I'm embracing it. Eminent Face of Africa did, did a wonders. lot of greatness. Mm. Now, how do you feel about the somebody with your features being made to 
be seen as exotic through, you know, the lens. Because to me, you're obviously stunning, right? Oh, thank you. But you're not exotic. I don't know if, I, if, if I'm making sense. You know what I mean? It is through a particular lens. Somebody else sets the standard of what beauty is, of mm. what exotic is. Yeah, I've just learned something from you. Do not entertain the nameless people. Yeah, oh, eight, three, hashtag oh, yeah. 357. You know, do not uh, no. entertain people that have actually had the guts to put their names. What frustrates me, though, is how people would then DM you and say, I'm so proud of you, how you're holding your own. When it does happen to you, I'm going to slide a DM as well and say, you go, girl. I'm so proud of you. You represent. You spoke for us. We were not brave enough to speak. Saptanda, girl. Mm. Um, I mentioned cyber bullying earlier on. You know, if you if you come for somebody that I love online, you will. I will butcher you mm. in a classy manner. But I will butcher you, and I will make sure that, that is quite you. That's interesting. Uh, I will, I will, I will eat you alive. That's me. Mm. And similarly with me, if you come at me sideways, I'm not just gonna sit back and let you bully me, mm. especially when you don't know me. Most of the people that I interact with online, angbazi, yeah, and they don't come at me thinking or with a bold statement that you know me because angaz, mm. but I will put you in your place. Correctly, so. because I've experienced bullying mm. growing up, and I've seen how it can destroy you, mm. destroy your self confidence, your self esteem, and. Modeling helped me to develop a thick skin. Okay. Therefore, you can say whatever you say about my complexion. You can tell me how ugly I am, but none of that is going to get through me because I've developed a thick skin because all that teasing, the bullying, made me the strong hmm. person You've spoken that I am. about this. Yeah. But um, I know that um, a lot of our... Um, the viewers uh, may not have read the publications mm. that uh, I mentioned earlier um, that you have been on. But why will you bullet? In because uh, I've, I mean, I've read. You know, you you've spoken about you being bullied. Were you were bullied because of your complexion. Because of my complexion. I mm. mean, I grew up at Pimville in the townships. Mm. You know, so it to um, automatically when you're dark skinned, you are considered ugly. So I used to be called Mansu. Um, it didn't help that I was thin. Mm. So at some point, I was Monang Mosquito. Oh, oh, Monang uh, Monang Mosquito. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. And. And, you <laughs> that's know, I, I, I look back and, and that's precisely the reason why my first um, liqueur is the color it is. Black. Black. Mm. It was me saying I'm owning up uh, to that nickname, Mansu. Mm. Um, so there's my offering, black, a, mm. a liqueur that's black in color. I'm sitting with you right now. I'm wearing Mansu. Yeah. So I'm embracing it. And yeah. with my liqueur, the teasing that was thrown at me, I'm yes. making money out of it. And good for you, as Thank you me. should. It's crazy, though, how... I, I don't know what... Okay, you and I both know what happened, right? The whole social conditioning of being taught that lighter skinned equally uh, means, you know, better. But what I have also witnessed is how it would happen in the within our families as well, mm. you know? You'd be referred to by your your physical features, yes, by your complexion, mm. even by the people in the house that are supposed to protect you mm -hmm. from from such. So I know that we should not blame apartheid for everything, but colonialism, uh, uh, apartheid, lack of black consciousness did a number on us, and also just people being bad people and being mean people, you know, because. Um, maybe they had to feel good about themselves, and they took it out on, 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 on you know, on you. Uh, I'm sorry you went through that. It's okay. You don't have to apologize. Those, I'm those, just saying, those, you know, those imbeciles, is... imbeciles need to apologize, yeah. not you. Yeah. And and this happened throughout until you were like, I'm going to. Mo when did you discover that actually I'm beautiful? I'm, you know, like. I'm in the face of Africa. Is it? Absolutely. Yeah, it I did mean, that. you yeah. mentioned Lerato. I'm the same complexion as Lerato. Mm. Um, Oluchi is considered darker than us. Mm -hmm. But 
if Oluchi were to walk into this room right now, you you stop what you're doing yeah, and, yeah. And, and you 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 can't help yeah, but you look at it because she is absolutely gorgeous. So Emnet Face of Africa did, did a wonders. lot of greatness. Mm. And and at that time, all of a sudden, people were embracing the dark complexion. People were looking at us as you know, very beautiful exotic women. even. Exotic. How, do you, how do you feel about that? How do you feel about how do you feel about being seen? And I know we've moved way uh left from what you and I were speaking of, which we'll get back to. But how do you feel about the somebody with your features being made to be seen as exotic through you know the lens because to me you're obviously stunning right oh thank you but you're not exotic i don't know if i if, if i'm making sense you know what i mean it is through a particular lens the white lens in particular that somebody would say oh wow look at those features you know you you, you you're not exotic especially because you're in africa is yeah. it perhaps because a lot of the fashion Trends get dictated outside of the continent, and then you guys are then seen as being exotic. Look at Alec Vec, for example. Yes. Yeah. Like how she's like this exotic person. Like, that's just a black girl. It's a Sudanese girl. Yes. Yeah. But I mean, listen, um, if if you were to consider somebody exotic and you were admiring the 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 unique um, features, you know, mm. the fact that they've got a, a certain uh, bone structure, structure. Mm -hmm. and if for them they considered it a compliment, I would gladly mm -hmm. take that compliment. Mm -hmm. But if you did it in a condescending manner, mm. we have a problem. Okay. But you are right. Somebody else sets the standard of what beauty is, of mm. what exotic is. It might not come from Africa, but Europe, whether Western or Europe or US or wherever, outside of um, Af the African continent. Um, if if they were doing it as a genuine compliment that, mm. wow, I've never seen, you know, such yeah. a, I mean, look at Iman, for example. Mm. You know, uh, uh, David Bowie's uh, wife. I mean, mm. Iman. Iman is, is is something else. I mean, Iman. Timeless. Iman. You look at her and you're like, "Hi, boy. Is is this you beauty even real?" Yes. Yeah. 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 Actually, okay. Let's get back to online bullying, for example, and how we we've normalized being shamed. I like what you said earlier when you say that if somebody is is coming for somebody, you know, online, yeah. you you will. You go, you, you go for them. You defend them online, publicly. Yes. You know, a lot of people don't do that, right? They don't because they are scared of imbeciles who hide behind a keyboard. I'm mm. not scared of anybody, especially somebody who does not have a name. Mm. You know, those, those um, handles, mm. 08342 yeah. hash. Come on. It you think, you think I'm going to take you seriously oh. do you really think i'm going to take you seriously well, because ghost men want to I'm, I'm not i'm not even gonna oh. entertain you i i scroll past you can you can swear at me i'll go past because i am not about to argue with a bot because you're just a bot oh. but if you are particularly verified and you've got your name and surname in there is that tick whether now you've just paid for the tick because it's a subscription oh. now or prior where you had to get verified to see to say that Ukosi is Kosi, yeah. for example, you know, through your emails, ID, whatever, identification. Um I will I will hold my own. Uh. I will hold my own. But with facts. I'm I'm not I'm not just gonna entertain you because I'm bored. If I'm bored, I'm gonna read a book. Uh. Or I'm gonna watch a, a you know, or listen to a podcast that's going to give me content that is uh. going to get me my brain, you know, working and I can grow, I can learn something from that podcast or a YouTube, um, um, you know, series that I know I can benefit from. But um, to think that I'm going to make time for you, no, you're not, you're not that important. That's just my stance. That is ad admirable. I, I, I try to do that sometimes. <laughs> and how, do, how does it end up? <laughs> Badly for me. <laughs> it, it ends up... Who, Who do you easy. entertain? That's that's the question. That's a, and and actually, I've just learned something from you. 
do not entertain the nameless people. Yeah, oh, three hashtag oh, yeah. 357. You know, do uh, not no. entertain people that have actually had the guts to put their names exactly uh and and themselves behind the handle exactly i think i think that is where a lot of us could learn something like if i'm going to take you on i'm going to take on a bot exactly just because i don't the bot is insulting me it's literally a waste of a and time and oof my and time they, they, they and data data is very expensive in south you know? africa yeah no, I've, I've just learned something from. But I, 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 look. If you come for somebody that I, 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 you know, I do, but it doesn't end very well. And I think the reason <laughs> it doesn't end very well for me, uh, I, 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 I don't know if it ends well or not. But you know, but I should stop entertaining the number of people. You, you should. Oh, you should. <laughs> what frustrates me though is how people would then DM you and say, "I'm so proud of you." How you holding your own? Don't you find such people very frustrated? Sims. Is They're it? sims. Okay. It it annoys me so much when you when you DM me. I've just tweeted something which I know goes against the grain, or I'm defending somebody that feels being bullied. Instead of you doing the right thing, you would rather DM me and say, "Way to go." It's it's. You're a simp. Simp, Finish and clear. You're weak. You're weak. Okay. If 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 somebody is insulting me and you claim to love me or you claim to be in my corner, mm. be bold enough. Have what we call chies. Mm -hmm. We spoke about the the spring box earlier, right? Mm. This is spirit. It's it's chutzpah. Mm. You know the, the, the Jewish people call it chutzpah. Mm. Be bold enough if you're going to come up to me and you, whether we air kissing when we greet each other, we're hugging each other and you tell me how much you love me. And then just because now it's on an online platform and you, 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 you and, can't defend me. And then on top of that, you are scared of people hiding behind a keyboard, people mm. you can't even see, people you've never even met. If you cannot do that for me and then you slide into my DMs on some like, whoa, Mandla, proud of you, Samantha mm. girl. Come on, umbara happy. <laughs> do do people do that with you in all your Pe online? People, people, people do. And being a lady that I am, I respond. But at least now I know where I stand with you. And should it happen to you, because remember, mm. till it happens to you, right? Mm. When it does happen to you, I'm gonna slide a DM as well and say, "You go, girl. We're so proud of you. You represent. You spoke for us. We were not brave enough to speak. Siaktanda, girl. Please." Jeez, man, that uh, that that upsets me. That, uh, and it's people you know. Yes, it's people that you thought were friends. But be grateful when that happens, right? Yeah. When 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 some as as terrible as that experience, whatever that experience is at that time. Yeah. Be grateful it happened because now you know where you stand with people, and then I have less people to invite at my house. Hooray! I see yeah. the liqueur instead of ten bottles being consumed. Only two will be consumed because in any case, I don't want you all in my house because mm. I'm protecting my space. So the less people in my circle, the better. Zen. We're going to pick it up now and, and talk about what you and I were just talking about. But let's just talk it now properly for, for the camera about how people get excited over somebody being dragged. You know, uh, somebody says something knowingly or unknowingly offensive to the other person and the person claps back you know the language mm. claps back and then the the culture the online culture then would be drag them you mm. know instead of really adding to the context of the conversation yeah in a constructive way you could actually this is what Kosi was saying mm. or this is where she could be coming from somebody would then say drag them what are your thoughts on that? Do, you, do, do we get excited over I don't know what culture it is but just the Hype, and I'll tell you why, foot, which is quite important. I don't know if you're on Twitter over the past 24 hours. No. You have not been? No. It's fine. You're not missing much. <laughs> but what has been happening is uh, a trend of uh, when did you know that your friend hated you? Oh. Yeah. And then everybody has been coming with stories Ooh, about okay. when. I suppose people do it. Maybe it's healing, you know, whatever it is that you feel that you have to say. But then there's like these little fuse when our friends are now 
like I know that Sonia is talking about. You know what I mean? Like I knew that this particular friend didn't hate hated me because they did ABC. And now I know that I'm that friend mm. and I, I respond. Mm. And then and, ah, I mean it's 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 something else. Could be good if it was turned into a healing process whereby we all just you know, or maybe, do, but now the friend is giving her side and that side and sides are being taken. I'm just saying, Joe, online, which is a, a space where a lot of us spend a considerable amount of time, mm. there is that culture of excitement whenever something bad is happening, just generally. Isn't isn't that a the best indication of how sad you are to be that individual? Uh-huh. to be dragging a particular person to a point of no return because it does happen. I mean, we, you, we've, we've had, I'm sure you know of one or two people who really just decided to acti- deactivate their accounts uh-huh. um, or just, I mean, just went off social media altogether because it just became too much and too personal, right? This is what I've discovered about social media, uh-huh. Twitter particularly, is that I don't know if you've ever picked up or taken note that sometimes even a a statement, a profound statement that, mm. that makes it that much harder for you to sleep at night because you're still digesting mm. a statement. Even if it happens to me from a person you dislike, mm. you, 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 you find a way to, to either t- tarnish it or destroy it mm. um, or discredit it because it, it came from Kosi posted yeah. it. But if Sophie mm. posted that, you would go, that is profound, oh, amazing. You. you know, that's why I love you so much. That's so, so at times it's, it's, it's not about what you said, but Just some the fact like that you. Kosi posted it and I don't like I don't you. Like her. Whatever you post, I'm going to find a way to destroy it because instead it of just happens moving to on, you like, instead of moving also, on. Also, why are you there? Exactly. I had somebody, I'm not going to mention, who offered for me to do skin lightening. And I blocked that person out of my life because I felt insulted. I'm like, what makes you think I want to lighten my skin? It's the last thing I'm going to do. Nabachana, who are as dark as me, imagine if I lighten my skin, what's going to happen to my nieces and nephews? Are you going to make me teary now? Are you going to mess up my makeup? I'm a very spiritual person. If you happen to be in my path, Uh you're going to be caught. By that others were simply brought here to destroy why are you why did you see it okay it does happen that somebody's feed that you 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 know post that you don't follow comes up but if it's a particular person that you don't keep scrolling keep scrolling yeah the urge to disagree is is yes like i can't I need to say something. And, and, and if you look at it in a in a positive light, because remember how you react to it, mm. it's 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 your business, right? Because it affects you. Mm. How you let it affect you. So uh, for me, it's a compliment. I say that because remember it's your data, right? Mm. Very expensive data in, okay. in, in, yeah. in South Africa. I think we have the highest data costs in the continent, if I'm not mistaken. I think, yeah, one of the highest. So, so I, th- I, t- I personally take it as a compliment. If you make time to, to comment on dedicate. anything mm. that has my name attached to it, it's a compliment. You made time for me using your data, using your time. Mm. It's a compliment. Keep talking. Mm. Keep at it. You made time for me. I matter. That is amazing. As much as you think I don't matter, I matter because you made time for me. Because you could have just you made time for me. Moving. You made time for me. I matter. It's incredible how how you've you've I don't know to train condition your mind to get to that point. How did you get I there? I had to. I had to because. Like I said, bullying started from when I could you know, comprehend as a child uh-huh. that I'm being teased because I'm very dark. Nyamani, you know? I don't think you're dark, yes? Oh, oh, I'm, I, I was considered very and, so, and, and, and I've learned to embrace it. You know, I had somebody, I had, a, I had somebody I'm not going to mention who offered for me to do skin lightening and I blocked that person out of my life because I felt insulted. I'm oh like, gosh. what makes you think I want to lighten my skin? 
it's the last thing I'm going to do. Nabachana, who are as dark as me, imagine if I lighten my skin, what's going to happen to my nieces and nephews? Because I'm saying, saying to them, a... your complexion is an issue because now I'm, I'm, I have nothing against people who, who lighten the yeah. skin. No, 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 no. I don't judge because I don't want to be judged. Mm -hmm. But when that offer was made for me to, you know, via IV to lighten my skin, I felt insulted to it's a it's point it's where upsetting. I I I cut all ties with that person because I felt I was being insulted. So um call me Nyamani, I'm I'm proudly so. Um that's why a lot of my um hashtags I would use proud mansu or, oh, or, or, is or, that... or, or hashtag black bone because I'm I'm a very oh. proud Nyamani. I'm a proud Mansu. That's me. I think my daughter's uh, skin, you exactly my daughter's complexion. Or, Cute. Or I she's, like that. Because her dad is very dark skinned. Okay. And I, 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 I was very upset at a family member who said, because uh, when she was a baby, she was, you know, they come out light skinned. They do. Yeah, they come out very light skinned. And she was very light skinned. Uh, she looked more like my mother. My mother was very light skinned. And then... Um, and then somebody very close to me said, gosh, do you think she's going to stay like this or she's going to become, she's going to oh, look more and more like, wow. I, ooh. Is that person still invited at your house? Yeah. Well, I, <laughs> <laughs> you are such a lady. <laughs> I, I, also, the person is, is, is quite ignorant. Oh, wow. Uh, I did a lot of education, you know, that day, but, um, said, ah, oh, man, uh, do you think that this, do, do you think she's going to stay like this or do you think she's going to uh, look like a dad? Woo! You are a lady. There is no way that person will be invited back at my house. If that happened to be my own mother, she was never, ever going to be invited back at my house. Oh, there's just some people that you just can't. Um, oh, oh events. wow. Clearly. Mm, oh, events. You are but a that, lady. But that pissed me off. But my point is I don't, I, I, yeah, and 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 now we're gonna differentiate between shades of of darkness. But I just, you know what I mean. I, I I'm stunned that it could be something that you you'll be labeled as. And now I understand why you put the the hashtag. Uh, you know, I've 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 never really under, understood that. But you, it seems, have always been able to turn something around. You know, you, it 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 is an incredible talent. You know mm. how how. I mean, we the, the whole Marula. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna make me teary now? You're gonna mess up my no, makeup, no. and I've got somewhere to be afterwards, so I need my makeup yeah. to be intact. I I was hoping that Jama won't let this go to waste, but I'm so tired. <laughs> I think Mzuela after this. But tell me, it is it is amazing, Sonia, and I'm not just saying this because I I you know you were here. Um, it is amazing how you 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 just turned something obviously very painful yeah uh very embarrassing very yeah you know and you've just turned this into because you know it was like hello you know you thought out of out of the concrete grew the rose type vibes you know how do you how do you how do you do that you go to do, do you have a coach do you do you pray do you do you go where where do you go to do that? You know what I mean? Because clearly that's just something that because here's what I'll tell you what I wouldn't even have the guts to do that. After that, I would. I wouldn't have the guts to to, to do a product and then call it own it and let it work for me, you know, and give me money after that. You know what I mean? It's like the biggest F you in the history of betrayal how you know what i mean it is fascinating how did you get to that point where you were like actually i'm gonna coin it so remember first and foremost i uh, spoke about how and why the decision to make my first edition black yeah but not just black like jet black it's jet black i've yeah. seen the i must yeah i've seen the pics yeah must put an order when you you said december december is, the, yeah. the rebot, rebottling yeah because i'm i'm sold out yeah 
Um, so I'm 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 that person. Um, it's not easy to 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 bounce back. By the way, I mean, um, I don't have coaches in the term that we would you know, generally talk about, you know, a coach is going to motivate you and all that. Mm. I have prayer warriors. Okay. <laughs> I'm a very spiritual person. Mm. Um, I think we're all gifted in our own ways. It's mm. um, whether or not you accept and embrace it. And um, you you really just uh, pursue that um, avenue of journey, um, if, if you so wish. But I've learned to embrace the fact that I am uh, spiritually uh, gifted. Mm. And I think that's why people marvel at how I turn whatever situation mm. negative. If, if mm. it happens to be negative, I might be down for mm. a few hours, a few mm. days, a few months. But better believe when I come back. <laughs> mm. When I come back, I come back as a dragon oh. and I'm spewing fire. Oh. And then I open up my wings. <laughs> oh. And then if you happen to be a part of that destruction, remember a dragon, once it opens his mouth and yeah. that fire it burns, I, 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 if you happen to be in my path, oh. you're going to be caught by that fire that's spewing oh. out of my mouth. That's me. It's my personality. I've had to develop that attitude because the world is brutal. Mm. It's not just social media that is brutal. Mm. Um, you come across very sad people who, you know, who infect other people with their energy. Mm. And if you don't find a way to protect your energy or have it negate whatever negative energy that mm. you bring mm. to my space. Oh, coming at you sometimes. Coming at it's me. It's just becoming at you, yes. You exude it. Some, mm. some people, some people, they were just, <laughs> I'm going to be very controversial. Remember, we all born with a purpose. Okay. Some people were born, born with a purpose to build. Mm -hmm. Others were simply brought here to destroy that's my belief. It's my story okay. and I'm sticking to it. Oh. I say that because other people, you know, they're about positivity, not kumbaya type of thing. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. But, but they, you, they, they won't go out of their way to be nasty towards yeah. you. But they walk into a room. Mm. You know, they walk in and you can't help but pay attention that so-and-so has walked in. But they make you feel good. They, their presence changes their mood. Mm. They almost like bring light into a room that was very dark and gloomy and people mm. were depressed in that room. And then there are people that walk in and then you're like, ah. you know, mm. even your shoulders are like, and then you, you don't even pay attention to mm. them and you can't wait for them to leave. I'm not a good man, it's or what, but, but it's just, but some people have just that off. energy, yeah. but some people were really just, their purpose on this world is to destroy and to destruct. So I'm a firm believer in that. And with me, you're going to have to work very, very hard to bring me down. You might succeed, for a few seconds. Just to knock, you know. Knock a few minutes. Mm -hmm. A few days. A few months. But when I get back up and when I decide, to, I felt sorry for myself enough. Mm. I've gone into my sanctuary and I've knelt down, lit my candles, mm -hmm. burned impe poyam or whatever it is that I feel like burning, incense stick, mm -hmm. whatever that I feel like doing at that particular time. Once I've reconnected Naba Pants, and, uh, uh, and I get the message, which is, stop feeling sorry for yourself. Your You've got kids to feed. You've got kids looking up to you. You need to be a mother. You're responsible. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Nobody's going to the part, coming to your part, pity, party. pity party. In that moment, I decide to rise. Stronger. Phew. Lisa. That that that's that's the space that I'm in now, and okay. I'm loving it. I think it shows because I'm very content and I'm very happy. I right feel now. it. Very happy, and I'm going to be for a very long time. 
for a very long time. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. I'm, I'm, gosh, I'm getting, I am so happy for you, you know, that you, you've, you've gone through everything that you've gone through and you are now here. I'm especially happy that you're making money out of it. <laughs> Somebody had to. Yeah. Do you think I was going to allow or, or, or wait around? Because, you, you know, the, the the trend went on for a very long time and it went, it was trending worldwide. And I thought, you know what? Um, Is it trending well? If I'm, if I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I, got, wrote um, I wrote about it. I wrote, I wrote about it in the um, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get into the details of how far and wide um, uh, it, it, it trended. And I, I found myself in December last year. Um, thinking, okay, what what am I going to do with my life? You know, I'm I'm not interested in 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 releasing another book because I'm just not ready because the titles were heavy, you know, mm-hmm. and I'm not interested in promoting the current titles because I've done that. So I found myself thinking, it's only a matter of time till somebody benefits from this. Yeah, and why would I want somebody else benefiting from my tears mm-hmm. and from my experience? And I knew that if I did not, somebody else was going to do that. And I was not going to allow that. It Simple was, as that. It was so so cheeky. <laughs> I love it. I, it, it, so it is perfect. It is. Yeah. So um, what's the liqueur? Because I, I want to, yeah, we, we, we're going to run out of time. And I want us to talk about the, the product. What is the difference between um, a liqueur and any other form of uh, beverage, for example? So a li- liqueur would be a category. So yeah. you have a liqueur, you have a sweet liqueur um, okay. that 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 most people like. You know, when they go on safaris, you yeah you yeah yeah that that brand. Yeah. yeah. So that's a, considered a creamy liqueur. Oh yeah. So it's a category. Then you have a gin. It's a category. You have a vodka. It's a category. So, yeah. You have a tequila. It's a category. Okay. So liqueur is a category. It's a category. Okay, yeah. so it's a, it's a sweet, category. it's a sweet um, alcohol. It's, a, it's so it's a, so sweet this would alcohol. be sweet. Yeah. Do I take it? Um, uh, when do I take it? Before dinner or as a you, welcome you, drink? As an aperitif, you can as have an aperitif, it as, yeah. as digestive. Is, you yeah. Can. You you with can dessert. have it with your with your dinner because okay. remember there's many ways to have it you know on the rocks um, mm. neat as a shot you can have it you know with a whole lot of um, other mixes uh, it's it's a very versatile I stole a brand's uh, tagline which they abandoned um, mm. have it your way okay yeah yeah have it your way I love it I'm going to have we're going away soon. Lucky you. Um, heritage and don't don't. Okay. Uh, that long weekend, Oh yes. Yeah. Um, and and we're going away with some um, old friends. Okay. I can't wait to to show off. Fantastic. I can't wait to show off. And 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 what's next? Are you? Is there gonna be something else coming from Pop, this popcorn range? So I'm making mm-hmm. popcorn strictly for adults because okay. the popcorn's gonna be alcohol in. Oh, so what's, 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 what's alcohol for? Adults? Oh, a popcorn for, for, it's going to have alcohol. Yes. Okay. So, so popcorn for adults only. That's, that's next in my product line. Because remember, I started out with the ice cream and the frozen yogurt. Yeah. So now the liqueur that I'm pushing and then next up would be the popcorn, hopefully before the end of the year. How's, uh, how's the, how's the ice cream coming along? It, w- the sales, sales uh, went down uh, mm-hmm. because of the, the win- winter yeah. and yeah. also I stopped taking a lot of orders because of load shedding because remember mm. with, with ice cream and then you don't have electricity for oh, four shit. hours yeah 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 and a freezer you, yeah. you can't run a lot of them on inverters you know your fridges and freezers can you still take orders um now now that it's spring even yeah. though it doesn't feel like spring <laughs> yeah I, I took a big order for a grocery that i'm that i'm supplying yeah um, a big, a big order. So big orders I will entertain. Okay. Because then I know that if I'm making today yeah. and I keep it, um, you know, in my yes, freezer yes. overnight, tomorrow I'm delivering, it becomes your problem. I'm just saying this for, for the, our viewers. What's a big order? Do you want to, do you have any, you know what I mean? Um, like, um, tell me. A minimum a thousand. What is it? Uh, a thousand, a, 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 th- a thousand rent. A thousand rent. A thousand rent. Oh, spend. okay, okay. So, That's so a- it it will it will benefit you if maybe you're a corporate and yeah, then you get your and- colleagues to order, mm-hmm. and then I do a cluster delivery. That's it. So people must not be you know put off by the thousand rent. 
you've got colleagues in your office. Yeah, and, and I'm sure club together you, you can club together. together. Yeah, because I was thinking for a party, for example. Absolutely. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking for parties, hosting and things yes. like that. That would be fantastic. Yes. So it's the popcorn. Yeah. I can't wait. I'm going to put my ice cream order because I've got a party coming up. Fantastic. And I'm going to take these babies home. Fantastic. I am so happy. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank oh, you. It was lovely. Oh, you. And well done to you, eh? Oh, you, you, uh, you fantastic. Too, you too kind. Okay, thank you. thank you. Thank you. And you look so good. Ah, How do you it. stay young? No, look ah, at you. Stop it. You don't have an age today. I'm blushing. Stop. Okay. Stop. Right, cut, so cut, cut, cut. Stop. <laughs> thank you, guys.